The Mitra Clubs allow women from rural areas to fully participate in community life. Many of them have seized that opportunity and have gradually taken up a leading role. Jamila Hassan lives in Gaseda in Niger. She is the imam's wife. Though she has never attended school, she is the moderator of a club. She plays a leading role and facilitates the discussions. The Demetra Clubs are supported by the FAO, the Food and Agriculture Organization of the United Nations. They have been in Niger since 2009. In those participatory communication places, women discuss and decide on which actions to take on issues of common interest. In doing so, they learn to organize their speeches, to talk in public, and to carry out collective actions. On a regular basis, the clubs of men and women gather in village assemblies with the traditional chief. On this occasion, they share the conclusions of each club's discussions and make decisions. In 2012, thanks to the clubs, the village acquired a multifunctional platform provided by the United Nations Development Programme. Gaseda was selected based on the motivation of its population and of its capacity to manage the platform. Sueba was at the forefront of this success. With a few others, she mobilised the villagers, and within the clubs, they developed a convincing proposal. Since then, villagers have been using the platform to peel, grind and crush their grain mechanically. What's more, the platform can even supply electricity to the villagers. As a result, the work of the women is less heavy in Gaseda. The time saved has even allowed them to carry out other activities, such as vegetable gardening. A different place, but a similar success. In the village of Yanonge, Magi Atilomwa was one of the first women to get involved in the FAO club's approach. She is a young mother of two from a modest rural family who gradually made her way up until she became president of the producers' organization, vice president of the Yonongue Producers' Union, and Dimitri Club moderator. She also supports the activities of about 15 clubs in her area. She visits them once a week and gives advice to members to help them move forward. Magee makes a living thanks to farming. She farms groundnuts, palm nuts, and a local vegetable called niebe. This is a demanding activity, but she still finds time to attend school. Je fais l'école technique et agricole. Je suis agronome. Je travaille comme les hommes. C'est pourquoi je me suis inventé le mot agrofemme, puisque je travaille comme les hommes. Je respecte les écartements et les conditions de culture. C'est ça qui fait la différence entre d'autres chats et mon chat. Not far from there, in Itenge, lies another isolated territory of the Chopu province. The creation of the FAO Demetra Clubs there, a few years ago, has led to many changes in the life of Miriam Bogadi and of her community. <laughs> Club de 
Nous avons un peu de temps à faire des choses. Nous avons un peu de temps à faire des choses. Nous avons un peu de temps à faire des choses. Nous avons un peu de temps à faire des choses. Nous avons un peu But gradually, she got involved in mobilizing her community so that everyone recognized her potential. She quickly became moderator of the club. Built in 2003, the health centre of Itengi was in such a crumbling state that it had to shut down. Thanks to the efforts of the Demetra Club and to their plea, the health centre was refurbished and a nurse was appointed. The club members contribute to its medicine supply. As a result, sick people and pregnant women no longer have to endure long walks or spend hours on the back of a bicycle to reach the nearest hospital. Zueba, Magi, Jamila and Miriam. Four women who, as many others, developed their potential and now play a crucial role in the development of their rural community. <laughs>